Hello guys, this is Avcore, and I want to talk about the new Tifa banner because I am going to summon on it. But more importantly, I think this is a banner that may be for you, and I want to explain why. So first off, I have been saving my crystals for this banner. I understood that since it was going to be the last weapon, that on some level it would be good and a little better than other weapons. But the problem is for me is I think that when you look at these costumes and weapons, they work better together than apart. So let's start with Bahamut suit and what I'm talking about. Because the first part I want you to understand is boost attack all allies is relegated to the costumes right now. It's not something that is on the weapon. And honestly, in a very constructive sense, I don't think it should be. Because when you build your characters, you want to spec them in one or the other either physical or magic attack so I thought this was, a, this was a bit clever on the part of the devs so this is really good but you do want it to stack with other costumes so for me I think the costumes that I'll get are Aerith and Tifa and if I can squeeze it in Cloud since I use Cloud a lot I don't really need the weapon Bahamut's Whisper is really good for the simple fact that this ensures that Tifa now is able to keep lock foot and step with Sephiroth as a magic damage dealer and with the right weapon she may overtake that spot which is really scary because if you really play Tifa she's a really good physical attacker but this R ability is really good again boost magic attack plus 10% is better than just the flat out 10 points and when you're command gauges at max your magic ability damage is plus 10 which is absolutely incredible so it will stack on her magic boost ability potency and you need to consider that it, it really is good I just don't like the fact that they made it so good so let's start with Bahamut Fangs let's look at the base stats real quick so you're, you're getting 212 on the P attack heal 154 but as you can tell, they're they're constantly upping the magic attack or physical attack, whatever main stat. So you're slowly seeing power creep right here. So just pay attention to that. I I don't think people value this stat as much as they should. When you look at the weapon, you can look at the skills, but this is the baseline of how it's going to perform. And she's mid-max really well, as you're going to see very soon. So... With that, Dark Strike actually does 600 magic non elements of damage. This is something that we actually kind of wanted more from the devs because the emphasis for the first half of this game has been physical attack. So it's good that the devs are slowly building and constructing magic based weapons. I hate the fact that they gave it to Tifa because she's already strong enough on the physical side, but you know, Tifa has fans. And you get the haste condition that cloud had on his weapon but only for the first use which is good because this allows you to get that first burst rush on damage so don't overlook this we've seen how well it works with cloud it's pretty good this is where it gets kind of i i say kind of sus it's not that it's sus but it's kind of it's a lot man so you increase magic attack for all allies and right now the max potency is mid which would have been acceptable this would have been acceptable for her to deal damage and boost everybody's magic attack two stacks that would have been acceptable but of course this is tifa and it's not going to be acceptable so we got the baseline magic attack all allies which is good because now she can buff for a whole party instead of just herself <laughs> it just stacks on top of itself and you got boost magic ability potency i think the Support abilities are kind of sus where she doesn't get like on guy gloves. She had like boost fire damage I don't see why they couldn't have done it here like boost water or boost wind. I thought that'd be fine The siege of boost is good. Siege of boost is always good But it doesn't matter because when we go to OB6 you're getting 640 magic attack This is like close to Sephiroth's edge wings man. That's kind of gay. But anyway, that's what they did they did that you get 466 p attack and 203 heal absolutely insane stats man you can't ignore that so you're doing 1000 magic non-elemental damage 
So this is the thing that gets me about this weapon. If you OB6 this weapon, <laughs> I mean, it, it's pretty freaking good at OB6. It's really freaking good at OB6. That's what scares me about this weapon. It's really good at OB6. So you get your haste. And now, with, if you hit this two times, you get magic attack, all allies high. So I thought this was really disgusting. I, <laughs> that's really broken. I can't believe the Dez did that. But hey, we go here and now you're looking at 1110 magic non-elemental damage. But if you go over here, you're looking at 508, 698. That is extremely high for magic attack. That is absolutely insane. So like when you look at summons and stuff, you always have to consider both physical attack and magic attack stats because... When a summon is used, it's the combo of your magic attack and your physical attack simultaneously. So, the fact that they even scaled the physical attack this high really means they want her to be a serious damage dealer. So, these stats are absolutely phenomenal right here. So, of course, you get the 4639. Not very impressive because we've already seen it. If you put physical attack, physical attack, Billy Potsy, it's the same as Cloud and... Yuffie, so that's not very impressive but what is impressive is the duration of the haste that, that's really good and your magic attack has decreased all allies for a longer period of time so overall what, what are you trying to do with this weapon that's the real question and this is what I think you're trying to do with this weapon this is my opinion of what you're trying to do first of all when you look at that 1,100, you might as well look at that as 1,300 because she is boosting her magic attack high potency. So that's like 1,300 attack. So she is a main damage dealer for magic right now. Second of all, with this costume, you can mix elements. Tifa actually has a bunch of, <laughs> for whatever reason, um, magic, not ele uh, magic weapons now, like... Let's go to Tifa real quick. Okay, so first of all, she's got her fire magic weapon. Then she's got water, right? So she's got water. Then she's got fire. And then if you had the curing gloves like me, because I was trying to get the camera one, she actually has lightning. So she has three magical, like, weapons that she could use in combination with this costume. So... It's not like it's totally wasted. In fact, with with the costume itself, you could actually mix and match elements. Because this is like Amorous Claws on steroids. So not only is she boosting her own magic attack, she's boosting everybody else's on. So, so, so it's Amorous Claws for everybody in magic. That's why this weapon is so utterly broken. Because we've already seen how good Amorous Claws is. So we're getting the next step of Amorous Claws. So now she's buffing everybody. So... In my mind, you're looking for magic attack teams. You're looking for Sephiroth. You're looking for Aerith now. Aerith is like her best buddy. That's why I'm getting her costume and Aerith's costume. Guaranteed, expect those summon videos to come later on the day. Probably right after I make this video because that's going to be an amazing combination. I think her best in-slot ally right now is Bahamut Aerith. Because Bahamut Aerith is actually adding with her attack boost she's actually a healer she's actually giving her magic attack with her weapon and also she's actually raising the stats because if she comes with Kamara one you're looking at magic attack all physical attack all and, and defense all it's absolutely insane what these two characters are going to do together so i think that's her best in slot ally I think another character that she does well with is Sephiroth. Sephiroth has to be one of the biggest beneficiaries of this weapon as he is looking for someone to boost his magic attack so that he can deal more damage with his magical weapons. And so is Vincent. So those are the characters that you're looking to build around Tifa as with a physical, with a magic attack, she can just buff everybody. So is this weapon a must have? I hate to say this on some level, yeah. 
because we don't know if they're going to give us a weapon that can do this. Like, Cloud, you don't really need Bahamut's sword, great sword. You don't really need it. Like, I think if you're a Yuffie player, you kind of want that weapon. I think you want that weapon. But with Tifa and Aerith, I think those are kind of must-have weapons if you're a whale, if you're a dolphin. If you're going to spend money, it should be on things that will age really well. And I think these two weapons will age well, and they'll age well together. Anyways, hit the like, share, subscribe button. I am going to summon both of them. If, I, if I'm if i lucky, I'll, I'll summon for Cloud only to get the costume, and that's about it. But anyways, have a great day, and goodbye.